As a student of shooting, you doubtless enjoyed the good technique exhibited by Tom Cruise in the alley mugging scene in Michael Mann's movie, Collateral. What you may not know is that Michael Mann attended Jeff Cooper's American Pistol Institute in 1979. When he set out to make the movie Thief with James Caan, he sent the actor down to Gunsight for a couple of days to learn how to look like he could shoot. The house clearing at the end of the movie is classic modern technique of that era, as is the press check at the beginning of the movie. James Caan is reported to have said in a Rolling Stone interview that going to Gunsight was one of the most eye-opening things he'd ever done because he suddenly realized just how good a good shooter actually was. In the third episode of Miami Vice, Michael Mann confirms James Caan's worst fears by casting a very real shooter, Jim Zubiana, to play the role of the assassin. Jim does a classic Bruce Nelson under the shirt appendix draw, presumably from a summer special, and follows with a Mozambique. On the speed unload, Jim wrote to Dean Spears' The Gun Zone website that the idea was that nobody could easily use the gun against him while he made his escape. We decided to back a timer into this scene to see just how fast Jim really was. Of course, since Jim was on the offensive, initiating the fight, rather than reacting, the time really starts when his hands move. We added a reaction time of .15 seconds, about right for a top competitive shooter, backing the beep up by that amount prior to his hands starting to move. Here it is at full speed with the beep added. Here it is again, a little slower, and one more time in detail. As you can see from the timer display, his first shot breaks at 0.85 seconds. His second shot comes 0.22 seconds later at 1.07. He transitions to the head and you can see that he takes a bit more time for the final shot with a split of 0.31 for a total time for a concealed Mozambique of 1.38 seconds. Not bad by any measure.